Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another pour video. Actually, it's more of a spray paint tutorial slash pour video. Um, so I really wanted to spray paint a sphere and put a ribbon over the sphere. And I really wanted it to be 3D looking. Um, I'm kind of like in that phase right now. So I looked it up on YouTube and found this awesome video. I will uh, drop a link in my description uh, to the video because it was awesome and I basically copied what the guy did. Um, although I suspect I should have watched the video with the volume on because like, I discovered a lot that I really needed to do. Um, <laughs> so like this one part here, the guy like crumpled up paper and like dabbed it on there to create texture. I don't know if it was just because I'm working on canvas or if I needed to really use like flyer paper like he used, but um, it was terrible. So I basically had to bring it back to zero and start again. So that matte thing that I'm using there, um, I had gone to Canadian Tire with the intent of buying like an aluminum garbage can lid. Um, however, in the Canadian Tire, the woman wouldn't let me just buy the lid. I was going to have to buy the whole garbage can, which, you know, is kind of unrealistic when I live in, like, an apartment. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. I, I mean, the problem with Canadian Tire in Montreal is that it's difficult to find someone who is fluent in English and I'm far from fluent in French, so there might have been a little bit of miscommunication going on. But in any event, I didn't get my garbage can lid, so I had to get like the, you know, this started as like one of those like squishy puzzle piece thingies that you like fit together. And I just like kind of uh, found the center of it and stuck a nail in it and a string and I drew it around and that's how I got the circle. So I wasn't really super happy with that one uh, highlight bit in the back, I guess. So I just redid it. In retrospect, I wish that I had gotten it right the first shot because like it was, the planet was way cleaner when I didn't move things around. But you know, this is my first time trying this sort of thing. So I'm relatively happy with the result of it. So onto the ribbon stage of the painting. I really wanted to create the illusion that the ribbon was wrapping around the planet. And I was actually really excited at this uh, point because the planet had turned out way better than I thought it was gonna turn out. Um, and in retrospect, I didn't let it cure long enough before I put the ribbon on because I ended up messing up part of the ribbon and when I was like scraping it off and I wanted to try it again, um, I ended up removing some of the spray paint and it turned into a big thing where I had to like redo this whole corner of the planet. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a rather annoying. I, I mean, it really stretched out uh, the time it took to do this painting because like, um, after I put the spray paint on and fixed it and everything, um, I had to wait for the first ribbon to dry. And by the time that first ribbon dried, it was well into the work week. And I generally don't like painting after work um, during the week, just because like I'm usually pretty exhausted. Um, but this uh, painting was different. I mean, I was really super excited about the direction that it was going in. So, I ended up uh, laying the second ribbon down um, after work. I can't remember which day it was, but needless to say, I was very excited when I laid down that second ribbon and it turned out okay. So given that this is a longer video, um, I have an opportunity to give you some background uh, to the title of the painting, which I called Major Tom. So backing way up, I walk to and from work at the moment. It ends up being about two hours a day. And during that time, I have developed an obsession with podcasts. 
And one of the podcasts that I listened to was about the social experiment. The NASA put some people in like a in isolation, basically, in Hawaii, and it was just basically replicating uh, what life would be like on Mars. And the I can't remember if it was the opening credits or the end credits or what have you, uh, they kept on playing the song um, Space Oddity, but like I think it was the Chris Hadfield uh, Space Oddity version, um, which is like a double, double bonus for me because I am like weirdly proud and like in awe of Chris Hadfield. I think that he is just great and I loved watching him with his little science experiments and things like that um, on the space station and I loved his cover of Space Oddity. So it was a big win for me um, (laughs) in any event. So I kept on having this song in my head and I'd sing it randomly, you know, throughout the day. And it would drive my partner crazy because I would always uh, mess up the lyrics to it. Like, I, it just every time. I couldn't get the lyrics right. And I'd be corrected every time. And it was just like, it turned into a bit of a thing, which I actually found pretty funny. <laughs> so when I initially dropped this, a picture of this painting on Instagram, I mistakenly uh, called it Commander Tom. <laughs> <laughs> which you know it's supposed to be major tom anyways so <laughs> that was just i found that really funny because like <laughs> i just couldn't really get that uh the song right even uh, when i'm naming a painting after it anyways so it's supposed to be major tom it almost got called commander tom and that is basically the story about that and hopefully I bridged the gap enough between, uh, you know, the two ribbons and the amount of uh, puddles that I made there. I had to put more paint in this one because I think that the first, the problem with the first ribbon was that I really didn't put enough paint in there. Even though I liked the look of it, I just, I needed more paint. So I drastically cut down the piece of cardboard. Um, on the planet because I only wanted part of it to be hidden, part of the ribbon to be hidden. And I think it actually worked out rather well. I mean, it was easier to pick up and I really uh, uh, kept the contour of the ribbon. So I had uh, some concern um, with the ribbon moving a little bit, uh, just right at the bend there at the top near the middle. There was a lot of paint on there and I was worried that it was gonna shift around. Um, It did shift a little bit, but not as much as I feared. So I was really, really happy with the end result of this. I mean, I think that this is probably my new favorite painting. Um, And it's been a while since I've been really, really into a painting. And um, I've had people asking to buy this one already. And I'm really, I'm feeling rather reluctant about letting it go. I think that's one of my major downfalls of uh, being an artist is that I keep on hoarding these paintings and I don't want to let them go. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.